I guess what I was most afraid of was like not really living up to everybody's expectations. Cause being like the starting running back, you have to like be like top notch, like hundred percent because then people are looking up to you. You have to play every game like it can be your last. It doesn't even matter if it's a playoff game or not. Cause you know, injuries could happen. Since my freshman year through my beginning of junior year, I had to work my butt off to even get to second string. So this is my Bible verse. Work hard and become a leader, be lazy and never succeed. Proverbs 12, 24. I struggled mentally the first two or three games. I was, I was so focused on playing my best and making this my best year, not my most fun year, that it just took over me. Everybody says, you know, they want to win a state championship, but this group had been so close and every year it seems like we could reach out and touch it. We just couldn't ever grab it. Jesse Smithy, five star preps and five star preps.com. Jesse, round three of the high school football playoffs start tomorrow night. Give me the most likely area team or teams to win the whole damn thing. Uh, looking into 5A, I think right now, your Powell High School, your West High School. Where, if they finish it off, might this season rank among best campaigns for a Knox City High School? No team has beaten Alco and Maryville in the same season since 1999. And so they not only did that, but they've, they've kept that going. It's definitely going to be one of those teams that's remembered for a long time if they're able to cap it off the right way. The perception of Carson was, uh, I think they just said he's a game manager. Uh, he can't go win you a football game. A lot of that had to do with or who his mama is as principal of this school. It's my mom. She's a cool lady. I like her a lot. Um, she's our principal. What's that like? It's really not that bad. When I look at him on the sidelines and I see the mustache. Um, I'm not super excited um, to see the mustache, uh, but he, he loves it. But he is a leader and he's leading a football team and I'm leaving the school and it's cool to see those qualities in him. That's, that's a proud mama, a proud mama. Go get it. Like I had a meeting here with Coach Brown after the Ferry game, just me and him, and I was just, I told him, I was like, this is my last year of playing football, and I, I wanted it to be my best. I thought he had to be perfect. And, you know, there's never been anybody play a perfect football game. Because I was like, 
I'm not going to spend my last year playing football stressing about every single incompletion and everything like that. I'm just going to go out there, have fun, and do me. I bet Tennessee lose uh, Saturday. $20. $20? 20 bucks? I bet. I don't care. I bet. I bet with everybody on the team. All right, let's just put Chick Fil A on it because I got a gift card. Right. No. Quick question: Braden's a Bama fan. Bama fan? Yeah. Yeah. He's a he's a dumb. He's an idiot. Should have been an elephant. Should have been an elephant. Should have been an elephant. Hey, bro, he helped our chances getting into the playoffs. You not know that? Dude, I just dislike Tennessee. I, I love him to death. One of my best friends. Braden Latham, he may be one of the best teammates that I have ever coached. I can't wait for my Chick-fil-A. Oh. 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 oh my gosh, you farted. Oh. Braden, I mean, he plays every game just like a, like a different person. I mean, every game is, is just unexpected oh what he does. Oh my gosh, bro, who blew one? Who farted? He got his twin brother Caden playing. I'm never a dull moment around those two. He old. <laughs> Me, I wake up on time. He don't. I'm an early riser. He'll sleep in till it's like, nah, just late. Caden got the nickname Slim Slim. My grandmother gave him that name. And I got Butterball, because I was always like heavy set. And not a, everybody knows this. Caden was heavy set with me for a time. Me and Caden definitely had some bowling balls on our stomach. When it's your brother and you don't want him to get hurt, oh yeah, you gonna block with your life. The person Caden is supposed to be blocking usually tackles me. Oh, my bad. Like, what do you mean, my bad? But we love each other. We definitely love each other. I love that dude. You heard that Drake song? 21. Can you do yeah, something for me? Yeah. Hey, you seen the little memes about it, right? Yeah, so why would you talk about that song? You hate every other song like that. <laughs> just, but that one? I'm just saying, like, he was like, 21. Can you do something for me? Silas. Sat back and watch him and Braden's relationship grow this year. I don't know if those two dudes have a lot in common, except this football team. <laughs> Al Cole game. Me and Silas were going like back to back, like fighting for every yard. Like this is giving me chills right now. This is our freshman year. We always had like a one-two punch with the running backs, and then it kind of became um, me and Braden. We knew it was a really big advantage that we could just be fresh the whole game. Number ten, can you do something for me? <laughs> Number ten. Like, heck of a job today. Heck of a job today. Way to bounce around. Enjoy it. And that's what we ask you to do during this time. Enjoy it. And damn, I enjoyed it. I'm not going to speak for nobody else. I enjoyed it. Let's be honest, West and Powell are, are going to play, and that's the state championship game. As far as I'm concerned, is there any chance that Daniel Boone could knock off West, then Oak Ridge knock off Powell, or are we going to see the 5A state championship game next week? Well, we look at Daniel Boone, and it's a program that set a record this year for most wins in the season, and then their starting quarterback goes down with injury last week. This uh, West High School team, you, you, you don't want to send up your backup quarterback against that defense. And then Powell and Oak Ridge, Powell is just absolutely rolling right now. Set the tempo early, first five minutes. First five minutes, very important. Has been all year, we've been great at it. Set that tempo early of what this game is going to look like. Y'all know what, y'all know what. Gentlemen, shake hands. How we doing? Good. How we doing? Come on, man. How we doing? I'm sorry. Oh, oh. What's up, bro? I got you. How you feeling? What up? How about you? Anytime we have a coin toss tonight, Daniel Boone, you will make that call. Say it loud enough for number 20, for number 14 to hear your call, which is what? 
uh, receive. No, no, you need to tell me heads or tails. Oh, uh, tails. What did you, you hear him say? Hey, look around, find a senior. This is the last time that they get to play on this field. All right, the last time. Hey, we want to go out with the bang. We want to go out with the legacy, right? We got to play hard. We want to build a legacy. We got to go through them. All right, they're 12 and 0. We're 12 and 0. It's the best of the best. Let's play them hard. Let's play Let's play. Go! went down uh, I couldn't really think of much other than it, than it hurt a lot you know it was one of those moments where like I knew I couldn't stress I knew I couldn't stress because if I stressed everybody else was gonna stress especially because like that was like my best friend and like he was like my backup or whatever like my the one-two punch you know i was so scared for that man i just i i felt bad for him honestly i definitely thought that it was that i was going to be done i mean if it would have happened early in the year to being that late in the season me knowing that we had a couple games left like i was i was processing that you know like i need to cherish these last few games we have so i definitely wasn't prepared for it to just be over. First, I was—I didn't even think about like what it could affect the team. I was just, dude, I was feeling for Silas too, because that was, I mean, you could tell that was his last game he's gonna play. That was the one thing I didn't want to do the whole season was 
let my team down. And I knew go next game, we would need the one-two punch. The Silas injury really affected their football team because of the way our kids care about Silas. It really took a lot out of me not to cry when he was crying on that bench. Yeah, I definitely was definitely trying to cheer him up. But then I was actually getting in trouble for that, believe it or not, because <laughs> because I, I, was, I needed to be over there with my coaches, but I was like too worried about Silas. I tried to give him, I tried to give him a high five and then like wrong. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I know. I was about to him up and then, and then I got hit. So like my arm went down and then I was like gonna come back up and then somebody pushed me again. And did it go I, in? I heard it. It went in? Yes, bro. I heard it. It's like, How did it not break? Oh. So what she do? She just screaming? did this? Yeah. Yes, and everyone's like, you're good, you're good. And they said, oh, whoa, whoa. And like, everybody started saying, oh, oh, oh. And I was like, yeah, it must be. You thought it was broke. <laughs> it must be something, because everyone's like, oh. I was like, oh, was you. I would have been like, I would have got it. I would have. You know what I'm telling you, bro? Like, the whole crowd. I want to make the crowd go, ooh. <laughs> Practicing on Thanksgiving is great. It's unbelievable. That was never a goal of ours. We've been here, we've done it. Let's really lock in, lock in and know what we're doing next week. Our goal is to be the best we can be at seven o'clock next Friday when we go visit those pants.